Namaste. Let's come into a comfortable seat and bring the palms together and rub them together. You can close the eyes and take a few deep breaths. And bring the hands to stillness. Drawing this energy to your heart. Lifting the sternum. Noticing any intentions that you might have for your practice today. I'm imagining all of us in a circle. We'll release our intentions into the center of the circle. You can just let the hands face forward. You can imagine these intentions circulating. all of us supporting each other in our practice. And let's release the hands to the knees. You can let your palms face up or down, whichever feels intuitively right for you today. And we'll come into breath of joy, but slow. So we'll do three sips on the inhale, and then we'll exhale. We'll do a few together, and then I'll let you continue on your own. So let's take a cleansing breath first. Inhale with me. And exhale all the way out. Inhale one third and pause. Inhale second third, pause. Inhale third third, pause. Exhale. Inhale, one third, pause. Second third, pause. Third third, pause. Exhale. And keep going on your own.
as you create little pauses in the breath. This creates pauses in the mind. Making space. And last couple rounds. And eventually let your breath return to normal. And just notice any tejas, any effects. Coming into just a couple rounds of Nadi Shodhana. You can bend the first two fingers, use your thumb to close off the right nostril and smoothly inhale through the left. At the top, switch, exhale right. Inhale right. At the top of the inhale, switch, exhale left. Keep going. If one of the nostrils is blocked, just imagine this. Balancing both hemispheres of the brain. And the next time you exhale through the left nostril, release. Breathing through both.
coming into your Dirga breath. As you inhale through both nostrils, let your breath fill your belly, then your rib cage, then your heart. As you exhale, release your breath from the heart first, then the ribs, then the belly. Layering on the ujjayi, contracting the throat just enough so that you can hear your breath sounding like the ocean. You are creating energy with your breath and you get to decide what kind of energy you create. Maybe you want to make your energy more smooth. Maybe you want a little bit more awakening energy. Just set an intention for your breath and the qualities will pull. We're going to keep this breath as we come to standing. Spreading through the toes, knees are soft, legs are active, pelvis is neutral, allowing the sternum to lift, feel your breath, pick one spot, maybe on the floor to gaze. On your next exhale, release the hands into mountain. On your inhale, reach them out and up. Interlace the hands, pointer fingers can stick up. As you exhale, leaning into crescent moon. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. And reaching up to center, gently lift your gaze, reach up so high, a little back bend happens. And exhale, hinging, reaching the hips back. You can have a little bend in the knees as you reach through the pointer finger. And exhale, let it all go, folding like a rag doll. Try to let your head hang. And on your next inhale, reach out and up through the arms. 
Hands interlace, pointer fingers stick up. Crescent moon, come into it a little bit more deeply. One more time to each side. Opening both lungs, both sides of the ribcage. And eventually lift your gaze up and reach up so high, a little back bend happens. Hinging. Bend the knees a little bit, really reach those sitting bones back, draw your belly button towards the spine as you reach forward. And on an exhale, hang like a rag doll, head releases. Your breath might naturally go into your low back here. On your next inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, reaching out and down as you stand tall. Bringing the hands to the hips. Inch your feet together. You can continue to spread through the toes. Keeping your body tall, shift your weight towards the toes. And then shift your weight towards the heels. And over to the right. And left. Toes. Heels. Right. Left, toes, and now find center, pressing down into all four corners of each foot. Gently lift your pelvic floor. Pick a spot to gaze that's straight ahead as if you're looking at the horizon. Leaning onto your right foot, bend your left knee out to the side, bringing your left foot to the right ankle or calf. Finding your tree branches. If you'd like to, the hands can interlace with the pointer fingers sticking up. And see if you can slow your breath down, softening the jaw. You can even soften 
the intensity of your gaze. Inhale with me, get a little taller. If your hands are separated, bring them together. And keep your same gaze point as you lean your upper body towards that left knee. You're reaching the right hip to the right, balancing. Good, inhale to center. Exhale, arms and foot release. Bend the knees, bring your hands to your thighs and create little circles. If the knees gently touch, it'll create a little bit of stability through the circling. You can allow this to massage the bottoms of the feet. And go the other way. Inhale to center. Spreading through the toes, gently pressing down through all four corners of the feet. Find your gaze at the horizon. Leaning onto your left foot, bend your right knee out to the side. You decide where your foot goes. It can go anywhere except on the knee. Okay, so below or above. Create your tree branches. Keep your breath. It's natural for the body to try to hold the breath here. You're going to keep it flowing. Pelvic floor is lifting slightly to help you stabilize as you press down through your standing leg. Can you soften the jaw, soften the shoulders? Maybe allow your gaze to open a little bit. Inhale with me, get a tiny bit taller. And you can reach that left hip to the left as you reach your upper body to the right towards your bent knee. Beautiful, inhale to center. Exhale, let it all go. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, reach out as you hinge, folding. Inhale, flat back, you're gazing forward. And exhale, bend the knees, plant your hands with wide fingers into the earth. And let's tiptoe back into downward dog. As you press into the hands, you're lengthening your spine. Relax the legs, maybe tuck the chin and relax your shoulders down the back. And let's walk out the dog, bending one knee and then the other. Good. 
Good. Some of you could relax the shoulders a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Let your neck have as much space as possible. And when you're ready, you can let the knees kiss the earth, bringing them down into tabletop. Bring your hands right underneath each shoulder, knees are underneath each hip. Inhaling, coming into sway backed cow, tilting your tailbone up and gazing up as your middle back sags down. Exhale as you round the tailbone, press into your hands to lift your back up to the sky and tuck the chin. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling into cow. For these last couple ones, if you'd like to, you can add the leg. So bring your knees together. And as you inhale into cow, you can reach one leg back and up. And as you exhale into cat, you can draw the knee and the nose towards each other. And switching legs. Eventually sinking back into child's pose. In child's pose, you can bring the palms together and let them come up over the head. Tuning inward.
And releasing the hands. Slowly lifting the gaze. And let's come onto the back, drawing the knees into the chest. Allow them to rock around, massaging your back against the earth. And keeping the knees together, let them fall to one side. Holding them down with the hand that's on that side, reach your other arm away. And if it's possible, you can let your head spill away from the knees. Passing through center over to the other side. And coming to center. You can let the feet come down to the earth. And let's open our strap. Stepping the right foot up into the strap. If you have your left knee bent, it will keep the pressure off of your low back. If this feels comfortable and you're okay to let your left leg come all the way down, then you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, you can keep it bent in, in any angle of position. Let's take a few circles with this right leg. Yeah, allow your leg to kind of decide how big these circles are going to be. Good, come back to your breath if you lost it. Let's go the other way. And eventually you can go side to side. 
I invite you to play with which hand is holding the strap. So maybe as the leg goes to the left, your left hand holds the strap and your right arm reaches away. And as you go to the right, the right hand holds the strap, left arm reaches away. And you can pause in the twist. If you'd like to, you can reach through both feet. So you're reaching down through your left foot and you're reaching to the side with your right foot. Get taller through your spine and reach away with your right arm. Now relax a little bit more. Passing through center, open it up. I like to bend my right elbow and let it rest on the floor here as I reach the right leg out to the side. And I'm also trying to lift my right leg up towards the head of my mat. Left arm reaches away. On your next inhale, Lift the foot up to the sky. Walk your hands up the strap, folding towards your leg. And lower your spine and your head down. Release the strap. You can point through the toes, reaching through the toes as you lengthen this right leg all the way down to the ground. Let it go. Can you make it even longer than your left leg? Noticing both sides. Now let's do the left. Step your left foot in, reaching up. Again, when you're starting out on this left side, you might like to have the right knee bent up first. You decide. Taking circles, exploring your body with breath and movement. And go the other way.
Whenever you're ready, side to side, just exploring what feels good. Where are those edges, not going beyond the edges, but just finding them. And your edges will change. For some reason, as we practice this, I tend to think of myself as a ribbon that's unraveling. Or if you feel knotted up, you can think of a knot unraveling. You're twisting the spine. And you're bringing fresh supplies of bodily fluids and blood to the organs as you twist and wring them out and then open over and over again. You're welcome to pause in the twist, reach down through your right leg, reaching to the side through your left. Can you get even a tiny bit taller through your spine? And relax. So any effort that you put in now gets let go. Passing through center, reaching the foot out to the side. Let your head spill away from your foot. Can you send your breath into the pose? What parts of the body can it reach and open more? Bringing the leg up to center, climbing the rope. Lower the spine and the head, release the strap. Pointing through your left toes and reaching that leg long as it comes all the way down. Hug both knees into the chest for a moment. Good, and then reach both legs out long. Ah, noticing both sides of the body.
Bend the knees, bring your feet to the ground. You can have your block handy to place underneath your hips. If you don't have a block, you can always use a cushion instead. Just have it right nearby so that your hand can reach it easily. So maybe it's down by your hips. Now inch your shoulders in towards each other so your spine is a little bit lifted. Press into your feet, inhale, lift your hips up to the sky. Try to tuck those shoulders under even more. Coming into bridge, your hands might even be able to interlace. Press into the feet even more, lifting the hips up. Buttocks muscles hang, inner thighs roll towards each other slightly. Now take one hand and reach for the block. Using any height of the block, place it underneath your sacrum and let your hips rest there. Let your shoulders relax, arms released by the sides in restorative bridge. You can even let your breath go here for a moment. Let your natural breath take over. Noticing sensations that pass through. Deepening your breath. On an inhale, lifting the hips up higher than the block. Take the block out from underneath. Inch those arms closer together underneath you again. Coming into your tallest bridge. When you're ready, release the bridge down. Maybe hugging the knees into the chest one last time. For our final resting pose, you can let the legs release out long on the mat, or you can bring your mat over to a wall and let your legs rest up the wall for resting pose. Anything that feels right to you, you're welcome to place cushions under the knees, 
You can cover the body with a blanket. Maybe place an eye mask over the eyelids. We'll rest, absorbing the gifts of yoga. I'll lead you through a little relaxation. And then we'll rest in silence. You're welcome to tune me out or you can follow along. Noticing the crown of the head. Can you imagine a subtle light at the crown? Maybe this light goes through any hair that might be on your head, spreading through the scalp. Relaxing the eyelids, the eyebrows. all of the skin on the forehead. Letting the brain be heavy. Allowing this light to encompass your whole face. Back of the head. Relaxing your upper lip, lower lip, all of the teeth, all of the gums, the tip of the tongue, all the way down to the tailbone. Letting this light begin to encompass your whole body. Letting it glow at the notch in the neck. in the heart space. In between the arms and the body. In between the feet and the legs. A gentle glow at the navel. Maybe a glow all around the body. You can invite the universe to hold you as you rest here.
Invite yourself to rest in this light and in this embrace.
Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. Stretching the arms up over the head. And if it's possible, you can roll onto your right side, coming into the fetal position. Gently pressing up to seated. Let's rub the palms of the hands together. And opening them up, remembering our circle of energy. Sending out your positive blessings for everyone today. and open to receiving the blessings from others. Bringing the palms together at the heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for being here.